Once again, America's favorite Western storyteller brings you the fabulous West. Authentic stories of its romantic past, its legendary people. Stories of its rugged and exciting history. Yes, time now for the real McCoy, Tim McCoy. He look come tax ten cycle wow. No, he look cycle come tax ten cycle wow. What? My old friend Chief Ulachi here, he's a Yakima. I was up here visiting him. He started to tell me a story and signs, and then he realized that you who were visiting with us probably didn't understand the signs, and that's what he was telling you in his own language. He was saying, "I'll bet you don't know what we are talking about, do you?" You know, this sign language of the Plains Indians is very interesting because you can talk to all the Plains tribes, and they'll all understand these same signs. And that's their universal language. So the story he was telling me, well, I'll let him continue the story, and I'll interpret it for you, because it's a story, an old-time legend. And all these tribes have their old-time stories. The story goes back and forth, all around, from one person to another. And they have their legends, just as we have the stories of the creation of the world, things of that sort. And what he was telling was, one of their great characters, Yell, you spell that Y-E-H-L, up in the Northwest, among those North Pacific Indians, Yell was a great fellow. And most of the time, he took the form of a raven, you see, with the wings, he's black, and had this great beak. Now, this raven used to play a lot of tricks, but I'll let Yulachi tell you the story and then I'll interpret it for you. Now he's going to go ahead. And they all start out when we say, once upon a time, the Indians always say, long time ago. So that's how we started. Long time ago, the raven yelled, looked down and saw these Indian people. No. Ti. Mati. Sun and moon. Now the moon is a night sun. Night covers over and day opens out. Night sun, the moon, and stars that twinkle up there in the sky, cross, you can see the points of them. They didn't exist, no, the negative, you see. So the sun, the moon, and the stars didn't exist. So the raven looked down. Who? He wanted to give these red people happiness. Now, happiness, the heart is gay, everything is lively. So he changed himself. Duh. To exchange, you see, just exchanged his personality. He changed himself into a baby, into a child that had been born. And that child was possessed, or belonged, to the daughter. Now, that's a woman. They combed their hair. A man is that way. A woman, the way they wore their hair. The woman, child, meaning the daughter. <sighs> of a great medicine man. A big, great medicine. Medicine man. He was powerful. Good. 
Tu. He possessed something that you have. He possessed the sun, the moon, and the stars. And he kept them, deposited them that way, in three boxes. And in his lodge, they were hung up. So the raven, the child, cried, cried, and cried. And the grandfather, this magician, loved the child. He, he held him to him. He was very close to him. Inch. So he asked the child, why do you cry? And the baby said, pointing one of the boxes, that he wanted it. This box had the stars in it. So the old man reached up, took down the box, and gave it to the child. The baby opened the box, scattered out the stars until all over the floor were these stars sparkling all up, down, all over the floor. Yell, the raven, gathered them up and threw them out through the smoke flap in the teepee. His grandfather, now the sign for the grandfather, the grandfathers very often carry the children on their backs, or the parents. So that sign means a grandparent. The grandfather was angry. See, a great force was coming across his forehead. So the child said, That box, give me. So to cut off or stop anything that's finished is cut off. To cut off the crying, the grandfather gave him that box. The moon was in that. The baby or yell opened the box. took the moon, rolled it round and round and round. And finally, when the grandfather wasn't looking, now to look, you see, you look this way, the direction of both eyes. And this is your negative, no. When he looked, no, when he wasn't looking, took the moon and threw that out through the smoke hole in the lodge. Cool. Then, he cried and cried and cried. And his grandfather's heart was heavy. So he took down that third box. And Yell then exchanged 
turned himself back into the raven, and in his beak, he took the box and flew out through the smoke hole up there in the lodge. When he got outside, he found some Indians, different ones, and he told them that he was going to give them all the things that would make their hearts happy. So he gave them the sun, which is placed in the sky, the night sun, the moon, and all the little stars that you see up there. And that's the true story of how the sun, the moon, and the stars came into the sky and made the hearts of all the Indians happy. That is what the old people told me. That's their story, and I remember it. Until our next visit, as the old Sioux Indians would say, wash day. Join us for another authentic story of the West when we again meet America's favorite Western storyteller, Tim McCoy. <laughs> <laughs>